Hey everyone, Steve Harris here. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I wanna take you through a bit of a case study and what we're gonna look at is this website that I'm involved as a partner in and it's called the Departing Details Workbook. It's an estate planning workbook that we sell online in both a digital and physical form. The site you see on screen is built in Shopify and we chose Shopify a couple years ago as the platform for this site because we have a lot of experience in Shopify and obviously it offers a great blend of tools for digital downloads. There's a reason it's a billion dollar platform. However, we are running into challenges. Shopify is quite rigid in terms of its design flexibility. Every time we need to make a design update, we're having to get our developers involved and it's just quite frankly not working for us anymore. So what we've done is we've rebuilt this site using Without Code. And what we're going to do is marry the two services, Shopify and Without Code, so that we're using the e-commerce functionality in Shopify and some of the kind of products and things we've already done a ton of work to set up. But we're relying on the design capabilities of Without Code. And it's going to be a really interesting process and I think very simple to follow along. So as you can see, the new site looks great. It's just much more refined. The old site is okay, but it's looking a little bit dated now and needs some work. So the way that this site works is you have some static pages. We've got a home page here with some information. We've got a reviews page, simple text. We've got a clients page where various clients can click on their logos and download books that they've pre-purchased for their company. And if we click buy online, you'll see we have our two products. We have the digital and the physical binder copy. If we click on one, it brings us to a product page we enter our quantity, add to cart, we click checkout, and when we check out and pay, the digital copy of the workbook is delivered to us by email and also presented on the checkout screen here. So in terms of doing this in Without Code, there's a couple options. First of all, we could use Without Code's built-in e-commerce system, which is powered by Equid. And I'm not opposed to doing that. Equid can do all the things we're using, but we already have this whole site set up on Shopify and I don't really wanna lose all my order history and some of the legwork we've done there. The other option is we can embed an entire Shopify store right into our without code site. But the problem there is I would rather have the core content of the site build right in without code, mainly for SEO reasons. The second we go embedding an entire store from another service, we can run into some SEO challenges because that content may not be referenced. So what I wanna do is build the entire site in without code, which you can see we've done here. Let me just navigate to one of our purchase pages. So this is the actual page where you would add the binder to the cart and check out. So what I'm gonna do is let's go into Shopify for our departing details workbook. And I'm gonna scroll down to our product, which is the premium binder and workbook. And if I click on that product, you can see all our product information is here. And what I wanna do is I wanna embed a buy button for this product. So there's a couple ways to do it. I can go into more actions and go embed on a website or I can click buy button over here on the left side. So I'm gonna click the buy button. It says create a buy button for your website or blog. Let's create that. So it's going to be a product buy button. I'm gonna scroll down and select that product. Click select. Now it's gonna let us customize that button a little bit. So I've kind of pre-customized the button for my needs. There's a bunch of layout styles. We can have full view. This is where you're really embedding an entire product. Again, I've built all this right in without code, so I don't really need that. I just need a basic button. Then what do I want to happen when people click this button? Are we gonna add it to the cart? Are we gonna go to the checkout? I'm gonna add it to the cart. And what it's going to do is just display this little cart icon on the right side. You can see it over here with a number of, or quantity rather, of the items that are going in the cart. Next up, we have the button style options. So we can set the corner radius, the width, the background. All of this looks pretty good. It's pretty much matching my existing site. Then we have shopping cart options. So this is what the cart's going to look like on the right side. So it just kind of says the product quantity and a checkout button at the bottom. I'm happy with all of that. And then lastly, there's some advanced settings. So checkout behavior, what do we want to happen? Do we want to open a pop-up or do we want to redirect to the same tab or rather redirect to the checkout in the same tab. I'm going to have it redirect in the same tab. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's click next and it gives us some embed code. 
So what I'm going to do is let's just copy all of this embed code. Then let's go back to our builder. I'm going to delete this add to cart button out. I'm going to go into the widgets panel and let's look for an HTML widget. So we have HTML and HTML no render. The difference here is the HTML widget will try to render the code in the editor, whereas the HTML no render widget will hold off rendering it and only show it when the website is published. So in this case, I think it'll be fine to render in the editor. So let's drag that widget out. Now let's add our custom code there. Click update. Okay, we're good. And I'm going to close out of this. So as you can see now, instantly it shows up in our editor. Our cart is on the right side there. And I'm just going to tweak this very slightly. Now, one thing I want to do first before I do any edits, I'm going to hard refresh this page. So I'm on a Mac and I'm going to do command shift R. The reason that I like to hard refresh after I embed HTML is because it gives the editor a chance to kind of figure out what to do with that code and to pull it in fresh and load everything fresh. So now that I've done that, I can select this block. I'm just going to left align it and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So as you can see, edits we make here are not necessarily showing up properly because this bit of code is pre-styled. So any sort of styling you're going to do, you're going to do on the Shopify side, not really in the without code side. But all I want to do is make sure this button's kind of snug against left side. I think that's pretty good. And that's pretty much it. Let's maybe bring it down a little bit so there's some padding. Perfect. Okay, so that looks good. I'm quite happy with that. You'd never know that that buy button is coming from a different source from the rest of the site. So let's republish the site. Okay, so the site's republished. I'm going to browse to it on the web. Okay, so it looks good. Much, much better than the original site. Let's click buy online. This was the premium binder, so we'll view that product. Okay, there's our product info and our add to cart button. So if we click add to cart, you can see it shows up in the cart on the right side. We can adjust the quantity. The checkout button's here down below. Let me adjust the browser window slightly so that you can actually see that checkout button. There you go. We click checkout. It redirects us to the Shopify checkout page where we can do things like add discount codes. We can use any of the apps that are in the Shopify app store, which is incredibly extensive. And we're done. When somebody pays, they get the digital download link and it's perfect. You never know that we have two systems running simultaneously here, but I think this is a great balance of complete design flexibility and without code and powerful e-commerce functionality embedded through Shopify. The other thing I'd like to point out here is that any e-commerce system is going to carry a fee. You just simply cannot sell a product online and collect money online without paying a fairly significant fee for doing so. It's just part of running a business of that type. However, Shopify does have a plan down here called Shopify Lite, and it says it sell, lets you sell on Facebook and chat, Messenger, add products to a blog, and it's only $9 a month. So if you want to just use a simple Shopify account where all you're going to have is products and you're going to just embed these buy buttons on your site, go with a Shopify Lite account. The only thing I'm not certain of is what you have in terms of app store access. You may have restricted app store on the Shopify Lite account, in which case you're probably looking at more like the basic Shopify account for $29 a month, which again, for an e-commerce site is really not a bad deal. So there you go. We have a brand new site. Let me show you the original departing details site built fully in Shopify. And then of course we have the new without code version of it. Let me back up here so we can see it. And it looks like this. So pretty incredible difference. And I'm really excited now about having the design flexibility that we do in without code because we can make edits and updates and test things on this site in a speed and way that we never could before. The other aspect of this is SEO. And I'm really, really excited to monitor the difference in the SEO of the site on Shopify and the site on Without Code. Now, personally, we have not had great results with this site ranking well on Shopify. However, I know that Without Code sites rank really well. So I can't wait to see the difference between the two. And I just wanna show you on the original Departing Details site, if we look at the clients page, it looks like this. This is how this page was actually built. Let me exit, go to that page. 
clients. So this is it. This is how the page was designed. It's basically in this ugly box. We've got a lot of custom code here that our developers did. Shopify has made some improvements since we built this page in terms of its design abilities, but still really rigid and ugly. In comparison to us now designing it right here in the without code editor, super simple and really comfortable and fast. Thanks again for watching and I'll keep you up to date on the progress of this site. Cheers.